In a surprising announcement, Matt Crocker, the sports director of the Federation, not only revealed the essential qualities the organization is seeking in its next coach, but also boldly addressed the criticisms directed at Andonovsky during the World Cup. Crocker tackled issues such as the lack of substitutions and in-game adjustments, the desire for a distinctive playing style, and the ability to develop players. Get ready to uncover the details of the Federation's expectations in the search for the new coach. They did not shy away from any criticism that was made about the performance of the USW WNT in the World Cup. And if you're a loyal USWNT fan and want to stay informed about the latest news from our beloved team, don't waste any time and subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. We provide daily updates here for you. If you look tactically, we already know we have a great group of athletic women and a great pool to choose from, he said. Things like our ability to transition very, very quickly are a strong point. Defensively, we have been very strong. I think what we would like to do is maybe develop a more possession-based style and perhaps have a plan B. A coach who has the ability to make in-game changes at key moments to improve the team's performance will be crucial. Clearly, a coach who is a development coach, someone who can integrate young players into the team, will be important. But then probably the final attribute will be the human skills, the leadership skills. So, a strong communicator, someone who can build fantastic relationships, and someone who can drive the program. This is exactly what fans expect from the next coach of the USWNT, because many of these playing characteristics were lacking in the World Cup. At times, the the team even seemed disconnected on the field. And now, I want to hear from you. What is your opinion on Crocker's statements? Share your thoughts in the comments. I'll be back with more USWNT news at any moment.